Good day. This webcast covers the Open Data Center Alliance's usage model standard units of measure. The standard units of measure usage model particularly begins to look into the dimensions of common measurement and metrics that are necessary for cloud environments. Um, although certain other metrics may exist in the industry already, for example mainframes MIPS, which are pretty well understood by most enterprises for cloud services, there aren't really a common set of measurements um, at this point in time. Um, the differences between providers may exist with where the measurement points begin, where the measurement points end, what is meant by the measurements. So it was realized that it was necessary to create a usage model identifying standard units of measure and the framework for, for, for measuring those and for determining them for your environment that would allow one to be able to create some kind of benchmark against your requirements towards what is available from the industry and to be able to do more of an apples with apples comparison. It also provides a framework for um, solution and service providers to create services and solutions which align to that common set of matrices and to apply them within their products and, and offerings. There are two really important aspects from which standard units of measure need to be derived, the so-called functional and the so-called non-functional. So in the so-called functional layer, we look at the quantities and we begin to use the existing compute infrastructure as a service uh, usage model as a foundation, although we extend further into the PARS and SARS layers. Um, and there we look at real quantification of actual resources. So for example, how much memory, how much storage, and how much network are um, uh, provided or measured and then we need to look at some additional dimensions on those things like time scalability and duration of use so those really would fall into the category of quantities and then we look into some of the measures that are important to understand regarding qualities there we look into service assurance compliance uh, security and a number of other um, more non-functional measurements these quantities and qualities would be applicable in a number of phases of the life cycle of a cloud service. Uh, one would look at them when you prior to use and when you're selecting a cloud platform or a cloud service. You would then um, consider um, monitoring the performance as was committed and as was selected during that selection process um, to be evaluating, for example, service and service uh, quality um, throughout and during the service experience. And then after the um, completion of whatever cycles exist um, to be able to confirm and compare your billing, your overall service achievement against commitments, um, and then overall compliance against potentially industry requirements or uh, geographic type requirements. So the applicability covers all, all of these phases, um, providing for uh, frameworks, methodologies, and capabilities to consider all of them. In addition to the previous uh, positioning and utilization of standard units of measure, we also look at it in terms of the multiple layers. So we look at infrastructure layer, which is really the component definition and description. We would consider standard units of measure in terms of the benchmarking of throughputs of an infrastructure. So in other words, what are the uh, vendor provided uh, performance parameters that are expected from that uh, infrastructure? And then of course, we look into the applications um, we were looking at measuring performance, um, a number of other dimensions, for example, uh, number of users, uh, throughputs, number of transactions, and other considerations that one would determine to measure your cloud services and compare cloud service and service capabilities. As is common in the Open Data Center Alliance usage models, um, we define a number of important characteristics that should be measured, and then we provide for a tiering framework which allows you to to tier and classify the kinds of responses that one has according to, against each characteristic. Typically we use bronze, silver, gold and platinum um, for tiering of service and service quality. Um, bronze representing the low end of the scale, platinum representing the higher end of the scale. And then um, those are defined for each of the different uh, service characteristics or, or standard units um, of measure that are um, identified and mapped as being important in a cloud service environment. So who will find this usage model valuable and uh, applicable to them? 
we consider that the technical teams would look at it particularly from a technical characteristic measurement and classification and quality uh, analysis perspective. We would consider the business will look at it from a, uh, a business perspective in terms of looking at, for example, things like transaction response times and more other and other important uh, business related service characteristics. And then we look at it from the industry perspective in terms of using it as an alignment vehicle where my, the industry can align to a common set of approaches, measurements, and methodologies. Um, and really what the usage model does is it provides the foundation for determining what you want to measure and how you want to measure it. It's not prescriptive in terms of the actual measurements themselves. Those need to be determined per industry um, and per provider and uh, service. For example, public and private would have different uh, provisioning uh, timelines, time frames, and different quantities that would be applicable to them, but the usage model still provides you with a framework and a methodology for qualifying and quantifying the services and the service characteristics and qualities from those providers. So what comes next? We need to define and calibrate the actual standard units of measure within the context of, for example, service catalogs. We do have a service catalog usage model um, and they need to be cross-applied to each other. We also need to see more um, integration of these standard units of measure happening from the industry um, and we're watching the industry's development of specifications and standards and frameworks uh, which align standard units of measure that allows us to be able to then have a common interpretation and to be able to integrate uh, solutions into services that provide for a common service um, outcome from a cloud environment. So those really are some of the additional pieces um, of work that need to be done. And then, of course, they need to be integrated into a standard set of reporting with common interpretations and against common benchmarks. Thank you for taking the time to look through this uh, set of slides. We hope that it's been valuable to you and that you'll find this, the standard units of measure usage model particularly interesting and applicable in your environment.